What a blessing it is to be with you again today. Even though Sundays don't look the same, we're thankful that we can still feel the presence of God no matter what situations we're going through. We thank you for spending this time with us and we appreciate all of your efforts. We thank you for liking our videos and we thank you even more for sharing. So we ask that you continue again to click like and click share as we enter into service. Have a blessed week. Finance Committee has made it possible for you to give your tithes and offerings by mail online at the church's website at www.mountziononline.org and in person on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for the opportunity to come before you and share with you again the words of our living God. I want to thank all of the members of Mount Zion for your patience and for your faith and love. And I want to remind you that on Sunday morning when you come out, we will be serving uh, communion. It is my hope and my prayers that uh, 
before long we will be able to have some indoor services. That's my prayers. I think we're getting closer. I'd like to share with you this morning uh, from a passage of scripture, very familiar passage. It's 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 23rd through where the 23rd and 24th verses. These words are recorded. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that fourth verse says, Faithful is he that calleth thee, who also will do it. May God bless the reading of his word. I, I would like to share with you and <clears throat> talk to you this, today from the subject, uh, the process of salvation process of salvation. Salvation has a process and when we think of process we think of going through something. Uh, there are words in the Bible that we need to know their meanings and understand them and be able to uh, apply them in our lives. And one is justification, righteousness, sanctification, glorification, Redemption, eternity, and salvation. A few Sundays ago, I shared with you a message on justification. Uh, but today, I'm going to talk about sanctification. The Christian life is a journey. Uh, it begins, it has a beginning, it has a continuous, and then it has a completion. Justification is just the beginning, and the next phase is sanctification. Uh, we must continue the journey. <clears throat> but there are, there are many Christians who uh, experience justification, but they uh, fail when it comes to sanctification, uh, because sanctification is a continuous process, and it is the second phase. And the word sanctification means uh, uh, to be holy, to be set apart. Uh, uh, when something is set apart, it is used for only its purpose. Uh, this church is holy because it has been set apart to be used only for God. The Bible is holy because it is set apart uh, only to be used for God, even the believer is set apart. Uh, he's not to be used uh, for anything that's unworthy. Sanctification is a continuous process of God in the life of the believers, making the believers to become like him, and that's holy. God is holy, and when we think of his holiness, his holiness is different from our holiness. Where he is, we are trying to get there. And uh, it, takes, uh, uh, it, it takes a while. Sanctification is, is a progressive work. Uh, it is God working in man. Uh, amen. It is a, it is a partnership. Uh, uh, God working in you and you working in God. God will not do what you can do and you can't do what God can do so it's a source of partnership and many times we want God to do things that God uh, does not move because we are not applying ourselves as I heard uh, one of my good friends uh, in the ministry said a long time ago he said sometimes God use you to solve your own problem the Bible says that we are to work our own salvation in trembling and in fear. 
the Christian is not working for salvation, but he's working because he has salvation. Uh, you see, we already saved those of us who are here today. <clears throat> We're not out here uh, uh, trying to get saved, hopefully. We are out here because we are saved. And we're in the holy state of, of, in the process of becoming like God. The Christian, uh, amen, this Christian life is a journey. It is a Christian journey, and it is an experience of some ups and downs and some losers and some failures, uh, some, amen, some, some, some success, amen, and some failures. Life is not lived on a... Uh, level plain. Uh, we go through valleys in order to get to the mountains. Uh, amen. We, th this life is like a valley. Uh, as David talked about the valley, the shadow of death. Uh, many times we don't even realize uh, how close we are to death. And sometimes death is right in our face. Amen. And we don't even recognize it. Uh, but, but God takes care of us because Death is now only a shadow yes. since what Jesus did on Calvary and went in the grave. Amen. We, 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 amen. We, when we get saved, it is our spirit that is saving our bodies and our souls are the ones that, that, that goes through uh, the process of sanctification. My Lord. Amen. And sanctification, there are positions of sanctification that practice sanctification, and then there's endurance sanctification. Let's look at the position of sanctification. When you get saved, amen, uh, God places his spirit in you. You are, amen, you're born again, amen. Your, your spirit is born again, uh, but not your body and your soul. Your body and your soul has to go through a process to become what God would have us to be. Uh, to be positioned in Christ means that it is eternal. Uh, a lot of folks live looking for eternal life. But I want to say to you today that if you are saved, you already have eternal life. Amen. When you get saved, amen. Uh, God saves you. He sanctifies you. Uh, and then he seals you with his Holy Spirit. And uh, Ephesians 4 and, and the 30 verse tells us, it says, grieve not the spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. I, I don't know about you, but I like that. Uh, he, he said, look, I, I'm saved and, and I'm sanctified, which means I'm set apart. And then I am sealed till the day of redemption. And that means that, amen, that, that, that even Satan can't, amen, get me out of his hand. He said, look. Uh, he said, I, I give unto them eternal life, and uh, they shall never perish, and neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Uh, you see, it's good to be in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're in his hands, you're in good hands. And that thing is practice sanctification. God expects us to grow. He expects the believers to grow for uh, uh, Peter. 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now, amen, both now and forever. Uh, you see, God expects us to grow uh, through this sanctification process. E every day you ought to be getting a little stronger, a little, a, a little closer, amen. Uh, there are some things that you ought to be able to stand now. You couldn't, you, you couldn't stand when you first got saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. You grow in grace. Amen. Uh, uh, some things that, uh, that used to upset you. Mm. Amen. Now it, it doesn't bother you. Because you're growing in grace. Amen. You're growing. Uh, 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 in order to grow, you got to have the proper nourishment. Uh, you got to have the proper food, and uh, if you're going to grow, it's just like your physical body. In order for your physical body to grow, amen, you got to uh, uh, eat the right food, and you got to get the uh, rest and exercise. You got three areas that are very important if you 
uh, plan to grow. Amen. You got to eat the right thing. Amen. That is the word of God. For the record says that uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You see, uh, uh, the, the word of God is your bread. Uh, amen. I know a lot of folks don't like to eat it, and I sometimes your, your bread don't taste good. <laughs> oh, I know I'm right now. Amen. Sometime, yeah, sometime you, uh, uh, you eat it, and sometime it might make you sick. Uh, but I want to tell you what, in the long run, it'll do you good. Uh, the, uh, the bread, uh, amen, God's word ought to do one or two things for us. It ought to, amen, uh, uh, encourage us for some good we have done, or it ought to condemn us for some wrong we have done. Amen, amen. We need his word, amen. We need his word. Uh, 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 and, and lastly, uh, his word is uh, endurance sanct sanctification. It, it, it endures it from the time you get uh, justified uh, up until the, the glorification period. That's the last period. You, you, you are in a process uh, of becoming what God wants you to be. Amen. You grow and you grow through trials and tribulation. We experience a, a lot of things on this earth. And in this period, as we travel through, uh, it, it's, it's like traveling through a jungle. Amen. You're, 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 you're experiencing all kinds of ups and downs, setbacks, losing and gaining. But uh, uh, all of this will help us uh, to process and become what God would have us to be. Paul said, I mean, uh, uh, James said in 1 and 2, he said, look, uh, in this world, you're going to have trials and tribulations. Uh, he said, but uh, when these things come, he said, don't frown up, don't turn your back, but count it all joy. You see, uh, when we go through things, we ought not fall up, fall, amen, fold up. We ought to uh, hang on yeah. and keep the faith in God and keep moving forward. Yes, Even though sometime in your life we fall down. But when you fall down, get up. Yes, uh, and if somebody knock you down, yeah. don't worry about it. God will pick you up. Oh, I know that's right. For Philippians 1 and 6, one of my favorite passages said, uh, uh, Be in confidence of this very thing, uh, that he which began a good work in you will perform it until <clears throat> the day of Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus is working in all of us right now. We, we have problems sometimes, but, uh, amen, God used problems to grow us up and make us strong. Isn't that right? <laughs> Keep in mind, amen, uh, uh, that the sun, uh, no matter how severe the storm is, on the other side of the storm, the sun is shining. If you just hold on for a little while. We are in a storm right now. The COVID is nothing but a storm, but I want to tell you to, to hold on and keep the faith. And I want to tell you that everything will be all right. There are three things we need to do. We need to pray and be patient. Amen. And trust in God, for he will bring us through. For I hear him saying, they that wait on me, he said, they will gain strength and they will mount up with wings like eagles. It took me a long time to understand that. But what he's saying here is that he'll pick you up over your problems. You'll fly in on eagle wings. And you're all right. All you got to do is just trust him anyhow. And let me close by uh, quoting a song that I love to hear. It says, I've seen the lightning flash. I've heard the thunder roll. But I've felt sin breakers dashing. 
trying to conquer my soul. But that ain't all I heard the voice of the Lord saying, fight on, fight on, fight on. He promised never to leave you, never to leave you alone. I want to tell you, he would never, never leave us alone. Just stay in the fight. Look like sometime you're losing, but the Lord is on your side, and you're bound to win. God bless you. May he sanctify, and may he keep you. Amen. Amen. Check one, two, yep, check, check one, two, it's on. Because I've been so good You've always been there for me To provide my every need You were there when I was lonely You were there in all my pain Guided my footsteps Shelter from the rain and it was you who made my life complete. You are to me my everything, and that is why I sing. Jesus, I love you.
To the new safety standards, we encourage everyone to stay safe and healthy by practicing social distancing, staying at least six feet apart from other individuals, and washing and sanitizing your hands for at least 20 seconds on social media for church news and more. Thank you for worshiping with us. 